Hey friends, it's Michelle Green with Marstown TV today. It's a brand new month, so I want to give you an update on what's happening at Rose Center. Obviously, as you can tell from my beautiful surroundings, I'm not at Rose Center. I am social distancing just like I hope you are, and I do hope you're taking it seriously. But I want to tell you what is happening. I talked to Candy earlier, and even though Rose Center is closed to the public, like most places hopefully are, they are still bringing you the arts in different ways. First off, you can check out their website. There's all kinds of interesting information on it, and I just discovered this myself. If you've never been to Rose Center, you can take a virtual tour from their website. So see, there's a, no excuse for you to say you can't go to Rose Center because you can now go from the comfort of your couch. But seriously, you can go check out their website. You can also look up their Facebook page. They've got some really cool things they're doing on their Facebook page. They are, speaking of virtual tours, they're downloading all kinds of virtual tours to museums all over the world. They've got a lot of local artists who are going online and they're making up songs and they're singing songs and it is it's so fun i will call them happy fun songs um one thing they did and i really would like for you to check this out because i think it's so cool they did what's called well they didn't but they shared a link of what's called a museum challenge and all these folks took these serious works of art these big fancy schmancy things and they recreated those works of art in their own home. So that's definitely worth checking out. It's, it, it is, it's a lot of fun. I, I laughed as I scrolled through it. But I do want to tell you some other things. Uh, Candy had referenced, of course, there's all kinds of classes that always take place at Rose Center. You know, people are interested in that. They still want to do their classes. So they are working with different teachers to hopefully be able to bring you those classes online. I think Zoom is the new hot thing that everybody's using. So definitely stay tuned to their website and their Facebook page, and they can give you some more details on that. Wanted to share with you also, as you can imagine, you know, there's a lot of events that are having to be canceled and postponed. Candy and Becky and Charlotte, and everybody at Rose Center, they're working really hard with folks to either reschedule those for later in the year or let's just say they're working really hard to try to accommodate everybody. Um, I mentioned Charlotte. One thing she's doing, she's the education coordinator at Rose Center. She's working to get events and activities online for kids. Virtual tours for gear just towards children. Uh, she's going to be doing a whole little thingy about how you can make your own arts and crafts, how you can make your own crayons. I may have to tune into that just to check on it. Candy did want to say too, if for some reason you have the kids at home and maybe all their art supplies are at school and you don't have access to things like crayons and construction paper and things like that, if you will go to the website, Rose Center website, and if you will email them, she said they will do what they can. It may not be a lot, but she said they'll do what they can to get some art supplies to you somehow for your kids. You know, and again, not just the kids. Of course, it's important we got the kids home from school. Expose them to the arts. That is a wonderful thing for them to do to keep them preoccupied. And also, that's something that you can do as well. One more thing I think is very important because, you know, Rose Center is so vital to our community. I don't think people realize that uh, until they can't actually go there and access it. There are a lot of artists in our community who depend on the arts just to survive, to keep their businesses going. So what Rose Center is doing, Candy's been working really hard on this. She's trying to locate different types of funding and grants and things like that, that she's sharing with the different artists. And, you know, again, whether it's Encore or Theater Guild or even Downtown Crossroads Partnership, these different venues who do utilize the arts, like I said, to basically keep them afloat. So yay, Candy, for doing that. You know, guys, thank you so much for always staying tuned to Channel 7 Marstown TV today. We like to bring you information about things that you can go and do. Well, we want to bring you information about things that you can go and do from the comfort of your couch. Want to let you know too, you know, Channel 7 is constantly running all kinds of ads for different businesses here in town, and we appreciate them being on our page, but if you would like to utilize some of those businesses, before you just show up to their door, please give them a call ahead of time to make sure they're there and or what their hours are. You know, Tony and I, we truly appreciate you so very much for staying tuned to Channel 7 Marstown TV today. Stay safe, follow all the guidelines, social distance, wash your hands, and we'll see you next time.